YouTube, welcome back to Fresh Prince Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scouting report on Isaac Okoro. Um, preview on him, you know, he's 6'6", 223 pounds, small forward, freshman from Auburn. Um, he, Isaac Okoro is one of the best wing defenders in the country and is a great um, defensive general, floor general. So uh, that's something I want to say about him. Stats for him in 28 games this year, he had 12.8 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game, two rebounds, uh, two assists per game, 0 0.9 steals per game, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 blocks per game, uh, shooting 51% from the field. Uh, awards for him, he made second team All SEC this year. He made SEC All Freshman Team, and he made SEC All Defensive Team. So. You can all say he was a really good SEC player. Uh, so pros for him, his length, size, and instincts make him an NBA-ready defender. Um, you know, he switches on the perimeter with ease, continuously communicating with his teammates. Instincts help him become a great defending decent defensive rebounder and a threat for offensive tip-ins. He's also, um, you know scouts out you know off drives you know making rotations contesting contesting shots he's a very good passer also uh cons for him though he's limited on defense um he has you know improved from three but he still has some inconsistency on his mechanics he struggles to create off the dribble he also struggles to finish around the rim because he has pretty much poor touch around the rim Pro comparison, Andre Gudala. He plays the athletic style that, you know, always, you know, is great for both sides of the ball. If they this doesn't work for him, you know, trying to be, use his athleticism to be a better offensive player, then he's probably going to end up like a 3 and D forward like P.J. Tucker or O.G. Nagabu, Nagabi. Um, you know, those are great, you know, 3 and D forwards that can play, you know, the 3 and 4 position. P.J. Tucker can play the Five, but you know that's PJ Tucker. So yeah, teams. I have the Bulls. This is a perfectly um, draft placement as well as you know team fit. They look, you know, they're looking to be more of that defensive team that they had a couple years ago. You know, the team with Jimmy Butler, Joakim Noah. That's the type of team that they're really looking for. Uh, back to happen. Um, he would fit perfectly in a lineup of Kobe White, Zach Levine, Isaac Coro. Um, Lori Markkinen and Wendell no Carter Jr. That lineup, I think, could be a playoff contender. Um, like, contender trying to get the playoffs. Um, and also, you know, they're having Otto Porter off the bench. Or if, you know, he's too much money, I would say they would have to, you know, trade him or, you know, get rid of him. But I think bringing defense to that forward position um, is totally important for that team. Draft projection. Um, I think he's a top 10 pick. He's all over the place, you know, in a lot of different boards. You know, I personally think he's a top 10 pick because, you know, he's the best wing defender in the draft. And, you know, there's always a wing defender that goes top 10, uh, possibly always top 5. So, you know, he could be a top 5 pick. He could be a top 10 pick. It doesn't really matter. I think that he will be going to a team where they're instantly going to start him or at least give him, you know, a lot of playing time. Uh, so, yeah. That's basically our review. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe button. Make sure you comment down below. I'm going to keep posting, you know, prospect breakdowns almost every single day until November when the draft actually comes out. And, yeah, there's going to be mock drafts. If you haven't checked out my mock draft, go check it out. I do rankings. I have rankings also for point guards, shooting guards, small forward, power forward, and center position. So go check out those videos. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.